marshmallows. Yellow. That was a real loud spike. But we are live. May maybe. We'll give it a couple of minutes or two. Ow, spiky boy. Wait for a couple of folks to show up. We will tweet out the stream. Maybe. And then we will do a pin. I gotta add somebody. So, there we go. So I'm not fully set up yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so we're public. We're doing it live. So hello folks. It is I, the tuber of views. And this is a uh, behind the scenes live stream as I work on a review. If my tripod would work, um, you know, all the fun technical difficulties of getting set up. And uh, here we are. So for today, the live stream will be still of Kaiju. Today we're doing something just a little bit different. It's a little bit. And uh, as you can see here, we do have Titanicus. With a voice crack and everything. Then we have... Nosferodon. Yes. So this one was provided by Titanic Creations. So thank you for sending that out. I also just changed up some things on my uh, Discord. So notifications should. Be going out. But they are not, so let me check. That's okay. No more. Okay. So the whole purpose for here today is uh, I'm going to be working on the review and we're going to be doing it live. So just so this way you can kind of see all what's going on here. Hop back on over to the live stream. Oakley dokely. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and take a look at this this do. The box is pretty straightforward and simple. We have a nice comic to kick things off. Titanicus did come with a comic as well. But just you know, for copyright reasons, we'll just take a quick look through it. You know, this is kind of fun, a neat extra, a nice ad for Nosferodon as well, titaniccreation.com to learn more. And this is kind of presented in a neat way because, you know, the box artwork, which we'll take a look at in a second. I just want to get that 
figure on out. So the box is all nice and red. We have some neat artwork of the kaiju here on the front. We have, you know, destroyed city, which, hey, we could always use more buildings. And interestingly, it's kind of like a collapsed design instead of just all taped up. So that's pretty cool. That's a plus one for them. And then, of course, Titanic Creations on the top. And then uh, this kind of feels like a nice corrugated cardboard instead of sort of like the flimsy-ish material that some import companies use. So this is a pretty sturdy box. So if it gets banged up in shipping, um, the box will be okay. Pretty straightforward, basic clamshell. And there we go. No tape on the clamshell, which is totally fine. Throw this one back in. Comic book up there as well. That is actually how it came. I did already, spoilers, take a look at this before and then put it back in the box. So now that's off to the side there. Okay. All right, so this one is kind of neat. So taking just a quick look at it, this is pretty cool because we have translucent plastic for the wings here. And the paintwork is pretty nice. You can hear my cats <laughs> in the background, but you know, articulation will go over and everything for the review. But uh, here's the OG Titanicus, and you can see that. Um, Oh, you can't really see that way. Like this. Similar in height. Size, not quite sure, because, you know, Titanicus has got that big old iceberg. But aside from that, I don't know. If they were getting to a, if they were to get into a fight, I don't know who would win. So, c'est la vie. Alrighty, so, I got my turntable down here. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this one up on the turntable. Now it's pretty cool because um, you know sometimes the whole idea behind um, vinyl figures is a nice static pose, which I'm not saying this does not have. Let me be clear, but uh, for this one. It's kind of doing the monkey knuckle walking. But here, the hand is off the ground. So that's pretty unique. All right, I'm all focused in here on my big camera. Spin that around. And we'll let it go for a little bit. And that's just kind of how it works. So we just kind of sit. And we wait. Oh, and apparently the turntable squeaks. And that's kind of all there is to it. We just sit and we wait. Oh, and I bumped into my camera on accident. So guess what? Even though we were 43 seconds, which may be good, I like to just get a good solid minute, minute and a half. So I gotta do it again. So 
So yeah. Go me. And perfect. We have a thumbnail for another figure fight. Unrelated to this, but you know. Still good. So this is going to be pretty fun. Uh, I think I got a little bit of extra steam in me tonight, so we're going to be keep, we're going to speak properly and uh, we're going to talk about a lot. I don't think the whole review for this is going to be shot tonight just because of the logistics of everything. And unfortunately, I can't use my microphone for my streaming software and for recording at the same time. So we're only going to do a little bit of this dude tonight. So I actually should do a quick adjustment. Where is R on the keyboard? Here we go. Okay. So we're about good there. And now while this purple boy is up on the turntable how i just kind of do this is uh for all my thumbnails i like to just have the figure elevated up a little bit and then i drop my camera down to about there so I'm shooting up at an angle, and then I got a nice preview image here. And that, that will do, donkey, that will do. Yeah, a new figure fight will be coming. Hopefully, if um, I'm not lazy, we'll be doing another one uh, early next week. Or, uh, if anything, maybe... couple days it's gonna be difficult to do it to well to get it done correctly but okay so whoa what happened there it got real dark or Oh yeah. Okay, just because of the lighting situation. So what I did was I just um, added a lens extender there, showing you all my secrets to get up close and personal. And then I zoom in. I got to bring this up a little closer. Now, so this way you can get an idea of exactly how close I'm talking about. This. Eh, there we go. 
that's good. Lights being a little. Mm. Lights being a little difficult. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, whoa. Now I'm all blown out. <laughs> We're getting shots from all sides of the head. I don't know. View count's a little low. And there's someone uh, screaming outside. And looks like we're all good there anyway. Okay. So I would have to say, um, this is rather interesting for a vinyl or plastic kaiju. Because uh, vinyl, some spots, seems. I don't know. I wasn't involved in uh, in the making of this. Am I able to get better light here? Basically, the way that this these reviews just kind of go down when I'm shooting them is a matter of I know I can manipulate my lights as I like, but it's also a matter of convenience for uh you know how am I able to catch light the best? while simultaneously setting up something as default. So now with that, we'll also demonstrate translucent qualities. There we go. So how's everybody doing tonight? That's kind of the important question here. It's a Saturday. Everybody's just chilling. Shot of the throat. From thousands to the hundreds, what you talking about, play? Um, we'll do this arm here. I will say this is rather unique. What camera do I use for YouTube? It is... So it can focus in Canon Rebel T5. But I would not recommend this one entirely. I would go for, if you're going to stick with something similar like this, um, T5i is pretty good. 6, 7... 7i I believe um if you're in UK the the if you're in UK if you're in the UK um it does go by different names and the only reason why I would say not necessarily this is because um the video feature isn't as amazing it's not all that great um i mean you would want to use a camcorder this is a 
a camera first and foremost. Um, so picture wise, it's good, but uh, for what I used to use, my old one of these, you use the mic with it too. Moto Z, I think it was. So like everything from mid 2016 on back, they were all on the same phone. And that was a nightmare. Having to use a USB cable to take everything off my phone. Running out of storage space mid recording, not realizing that I ran out of storage space mid recording. My phone was stupid. I had to go through like five or six filters in order to get the colors correct on the phone itself. Had to do manual exposure adjustments, yada, 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 yada. It wasn't fun. Uh, but then I did get this, which this, this is good. It is good. But if you want to go best of the best, Maybe not this one. But for what I do, I make it work. It comes out pretty good. I, th I think, anyway. What did I used to use? Windows Movie Maker for a long time. Because it was free. And then now, I mean, I've dabbled with Premiere, Vegas. It's really just a matter of what works best for you. Hmm, this is going to be a hard hard thing to do hmm. I'm trying to get a picture of this side of the tail I don't think that's gonna happen I'll just get another picture of the foot whoa oh so my le my lens extender um clips into the camera and if I force it a little too much I can uh <laughs> detach crap uh detach it and uh things don't go well so I can detach the lens instead of just extend it. Uh, maybe move that a little closer. Move it down. Okay. Assumed I use Premiere Pro. Well, I've mentioned that I dabbled with it. I'm not going to give away. I won't give away all of my secrets. Not now. By the way, for those of you who are using Discord, um, bit.ly slash capital S, capital T, capital R, capital D, Discord. And uh, we got some new changes going on. We got some new emojis, notifications, whole bunch of fun stuff. Join up be a part of it which this is also something I, I have a terrible habit of doing just to get stuff done quick camera 101 never expose the sensor to anything but I do that and it's very bad that you do that it has cost me 
so much time fixing things and cleaning the sensor on this. Dry clean, wet clean, all of it. Well, thank you, a random person. I appreciate that. I try to do what I can. All right, we're going to run through the articulation because I can do this without um, doing audio. Hey, it's Ultrazilla. How is it? Um, so first, um, I got to give an opinion here and we've gone, how long is it? Live for about 25 minutes. I do want to make a disclosure. Titanic Creations did send this out as a review sample. That being said, even when I do get review samples, um, I am honest with the company. If I don't like something, I'm going to let them know ahead of time and say I don't like it and say I'm not comfortable to review this product. That being said, it's good to answer your question, Ultrazil. It's good. Um, realistically speaking, I'm not really going to have anything... Here's what I'll say. I think it would have been neat if they would have gotten the translucent plastic in the eyes and if they would have added a point of articulation, focus in, point of articulation in the tail and in here. Five bucks more maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't do the budgeting. But I think that would have been cool. That would have made me extremely happy with this. But otherwise, it's very good. I like it. It's good. So speaking of articulation, going back to my point, um, we have the little wings here. They swivel around, which is pretty cool. We have the very small connection here, so they don't move at the wrists. Yes, I do agree, Ultrazilla. Very interesting colors. We do actually have hip swivels, which is pretty neat. Ankle swivels. I would argue not needed, but very cool. Not needed as in, why did you do that? It was terrible. You destroyed my family. But uh, they didn't need to do that, but they did. And my camera's acting a little weird, so I hope this records properly. But, yep. So, yeah, the, the vanilla pose is pretty neat. And, uh, yeah. Michael Keaton or Christopher Reeves? I don't know. <laughs> that that would that would be some kind of weird figure fight, I suppose. It's also something else. Um, Ultrazilla, when you get yours, take a look at how it's standing. So this hand will is supposed to be off the ground. I assume so, anyway. But speaking of Ultrazilla being here, um, he did get his Kong review up. So, what the heck is Titanicus doing there? I wonder. It's almost like he was the first kaiju they made. Which I actually got in a trade with Ultrazil. Oh, am I still? Yep. Okay, good. I bumped into my audio interface. So, and then that's Discord pinging, which, again, right now you can hear Discord because we are, um, I'm going to vote with the mailbox. Same. We are voting on new emojis for Discord. So I'm going to go ahead and drop. Um, invite.
Well, that didn't work. All right. Are you serious, matey? Hold up. Come here. Right click. I'm on my laptop without my mouse. I just have my touchpad. My touchpad. Terrible. There we go. So if you're not in my Discord yet, hop on in. Um, we'll do a size comparison next. And then we will do the, um, uh, we'll do the action shots. Because I already know what I'm going to do for the action shots. So um, I'm going to get some stuff for a size comparison. I will be right back. Um, it shouldn't take too long. Like three minutes, not even. Literally, I have one vote for with mailbox, one vote for without, and one. Oh yeah. Well, I'm Evan. Oh. All right. Well, let's let's see what the general public thinks first. The general public thinks me. Um, I'm also gonna need that one where he told you for. Did I not send that to you? I don't know. Oh, okay. I didn't mute myself because the conversation we're having is pertaining to an emoji, which is fine. You're welcome. Uh... Oh, for vinyl. Booty get a good variety of everything in here. So I am kind of back. For those of you who may not be aware. Um, I did post up another, uh, I did post up another Saturday sales video. So are you going to play Mario 3d all-stars? Probably not. Um, cause I didn't get it. Maybe I'll get it later. Yeah. But I ain't counting on it. It's just kind of one of those things where, you know, order period came up. And uh, it's done. And I'm not expecting to get it. At all. And I'm okay with that. Because the bigger implication... <laughs> <laughs> the, the bigger implication there is Nintendo shooting themselves in the foot and uh, releasing an emulator to the public. So good job. So for those of you who are not aware, uh, 3D All-Stars was discovered to just run on an emulator that Nintendo developed. And because that happened, there are a lot of folks on the emulation scene who have already been able 
to reverse engineer the emulator. Um, and they've already gotten some other Nintendo games to run on Nintendo's own in-house emulator. Like Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Metroid Prime. So, not that I'm encouraging piracy. But I'm letting you know of this. Because it is a fact. And it's good to know than to not. Will Switch ever be available again? Um, I would like to think so. There is a very strong rumor of like a next gen switch, kind of like how they did an upgraded 3DS system, Ultrazilla. I know you would like to get one for Monster Hunter purposes, and I know Junior would love one. Um, and there are so many games we could do in multiplayer, which that could be pretty fun instead of trying to coordinate a uh, a YouTube live stream but uh yeah so to kind of go back and to focus on the figure here for a little bit um I think I'm gonna do a video sort of explaining my whole process here because I kind of feel it, it may be a bit needed. Um, plus, I think it'd be pretty fun to do. Maybe it'll be a Patreon exclusive, maybe not. But whenever I do a size comparison, what I kind of like to do is keep it realistic to the expectations of the audience. So um, I, I can't put everything in a size comparison. That's it, not going to happen ever. So I like to put in things that folks may have in their collection already and or things that folks may have had or they can conceptualize the size of. You know, because there are a lot of people, they go to conventions or they know how big this figure is because they saw it in a review next to this figure and they know how big that figure was. So this way, you know, they, they can sort of benchmark it. Now, if I were to just say that Nosferat on here, Nosferat on here was like seven inches tall. It's not seven inches, but just bear with me for the example. Um, You would be able to understand what seven inches is, but... If you were to immediately, right now, think seven inches, you probably wouldn't be able to just in your mind go, mm, okay, seven inches. Now, if I were to say it's as tall as NECA's Gypsy Danger, you would be able to immediately conceptualize that and be able to see how big it is on your shelf. So one, that's kind of how I pick what I do for size comparisons. And then also just kind of what's, in the norm, so to speak, for uh, folks collecting these days and what may be related to what's here. So, you know, generally speaking, we have some stuff that's popular, a Dragon Ball figure arts, um, Nintendo Figma, you know, kind of a niche figure like uh, the Figma Predator. I think that's a good one because not everybody has it, but everyone knows it's kind of meme status for being so small and the baby compared to, you know, NECA's offerings of the alpha predator. There you go. I don't know. Maybe I could have adjusted the camera height on that one a little bit, but I think we're okay there. Looks good. Um, and then, you know, stuff that's direct. Subject material like the Monster Arts 2019 Godzilla, Playmates Kong, you know. That all is good and makes sense. It is very good. Saw some new folk come in. 
new Mario movie going to be a good idea or a bad idea? Video game movies, generally speaking, are pretty bad. Generally speaking. Uh, Detective Pikachu, I kind of like that one. That was pretty fun. Wasn't amazing. Wasn't over the top great, but it was fun. And that's kind of what's important to me. It was fun. I think a lot of people forget about that fact. When you're going to see a movie. All right. Ow, that was hot. Oh, jeez. Bump it into my camera. Oh, that's what those were. Oh, shit. Okay. Game two. Are they in there? No, they ain't. All right, now comes the fun part where we're going to do some action shots. We're going to get two of these boys done tonight. So I'm gonna need a minute. I don't know where I put some accessories. We'll look at these next, assuming we have the time. They gotta be in here still, yeah? No. Where did they go? Freeze all I'm gonna need. I don't know. Alrighty. So I'm fully back. Heading out for the night. Well, have a good night. Okay, so I'm trying to use the power of my feet here to move out a box for more accessories. Okay, so here's the idea with one picture that we will do next. I need these for something I'll take a look at in a little bit. 
So the idea is going to involve ice cubes. And water. For right now, we need the Mezco Nos Feratu. Lego Maego. which I think this figure is very cool. For some reason, there seems to be a lot of buyer's remorse attached to this one. Um, <sighs> come on. Oh no. Mezco and their wonderful packaging decisions. Okay, so let's go with the fierce head sculpts. That'll be it for this picture. Go ahead and throw him in there. Okie doke. There we go. I make weird noises. That's just what I do. All right, so I need to make this idea work. Oh, ew. There we go. Change the hand position. There we go. There's going to be an unboxing of Nosferatu coming real soon. I just got to edit it. Very tight joints, unfortunately. I would really like to fix those, but I can't. So I won't. The joys of being a Mezco owner. I know I'm complaining about Mezco, but it's partially tongue in cheek. I say partially because I'm secretly hoping that, um, well, you know, when they do their Ultraman Gomez, I hope they send me one.
Um, okay, what happened? Oh, that's why. I heard a crack. I'm like, why did he crack? Okay, nothing's broken. So we're good. Wolfman or Nosferatu? What do you mean, Wolfman? Who did a Wolfman? Mezco did a Frankenstein. 112. Do you have secrets? Share them. my day it's pretty okay how about yours did a wolfman years ago it, if it wasn't a 112 then uh not to sound snooty, then I probably either A, don't know about it, or B, if I do know about it, like if you were to post a link to it, and I looked at it, I would probably go, oh yeah, I do know about this, but not really interested. And I'm not saying 112s are the cream of the crop, because they kind of aren't. Nosferatu is probably my favorite of the ones that I have. And I only have horror ones. Notes there isn't a NECA of that one. Yet. But there will be. Okay, now for... Damn it. Okay, time for a kaiju battle picture. So now here, here's where the fun comes in, kids. So I am very far behind on this video, but it is a, it's going to be a kaiju photography video um, on how to truly capture um, Good old fashioned tokusatsu, tokusats, if you want to be technical, um, pictures with your figures and sort of how to get that effect. Whomst will battle whomst? Well, well, well. It's what Titanicus is for. Now, I unfortunately do not have like a dock or anything. But, well, yeah, icebergs kind of kind of just straight up do the trick. Front line there. Yeah. Yeah, mate. All righty. And you didn't get to see the whole thing. 
But here is the final battle scene between two giant warring kaiju. So, with that being said, uh, some technical difficulties set up. Um, of, 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 Okay, brains reset. <clears throat> so, with all that being said, I've been live now for, uh, according to OBS, which I use here, 56 minutes. Yes, some technical difficulties. Yes, I went out to uh, get some figures in for scaling purposes, and I haven't quite put everything away, but that is about how long a vinyl figure or so takes to review um, some more simple things. I don't know how much more simple you get than that for a vinyl figure. Not saying that this is bad in any way, shape, or form. Let me make that clear. Um, yeah, about an hour it takes to shoot the raw footage. Then I have to go and do the audio, which that can take anywhere from how long the actual video is, plus an additional... 10 to 15 minutes depending on did I screw up is there any uh sound going on outside that I need to control for um and editing it because sometimes doing a noise suppressor and then the EQ and whatever that can be difficult and then there's the actual editing process where that in itself can take between a half an hour to an hour and a half rendering can take an hour to an hour and a half um, so altogether, this review is probably going to be about three hours worth of work. Yes, I am not complaining. I think that this stream was pretty straightforward and a good example of what it kind of sort of takes to do this stuff. So again, you can take off maybe five or so minutes I would argue even the full seven minutes that we're going over here uh, to make it an even 50 for getting the raw footage and the pictures. So, again, audio, I would anticipate being here 10 minutes just because it's not going to be too complicated. I already know what I'm going to say about it. Um, editing it, the audio, add on another yeah we'll just round it 10 minutes plus or minus um editing half an hour let's say rendering half an hour maybe an hour at most if my pc's being dumb upload time anywhere between 20 to 40 minutes so yeah yeah so i think with this time we'll do if you have any just a quick q a so sorry for the misconception, but Mesco did a Wolfman based on a 2010 movie called The Wolfman, not based on the 1940s. Oh, no, that's fine. I'm not one of those kinds of people who's like, it's the new version. I hate it because the new version can be better than the old version. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's the truth. Um, was that part of their like silent screamers? that they did because i know that they did that and i know they did a frankenstein a few years back that wasn't a 112 wait can i buy more than one merchandise what do you mean so both of these that you're seeing on screen were from titanic creations um they sent out this one for review so that's going to be done ASAP, which I do thank them for. And I will be honest. And overall, I think it is good. I really do think it's good. So I think we'll kind of wait to see what Raven had asked about there for merchandise. And we'll head on out for the night. I think the very last thing I'm going to do is just get a picture or a quick video snapshot of the comic, 
which will just require me to move these over to the side for. And someone just peeled out. Hope they're okay. But you know, don't stop until it sounds expensive. Don't really, no, seriously, obey all traffic laws in your local area. All right, and with that, the review is complete. I'm gonna do audio, and we're good to go. All right, everybody, stay safe, have a good night, and we'll do another one of these soon. Please check out some of my recent video uploads and Titanic Creations. Thank you again for sending this out. Have a wonderful night.